Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? We got Eula here, and I'm gonna be talking about Eula versus Albedo, what I think about those characters in general. So, a lot of you guys may have a question of who, who do I summon? We have two banners this time. We have, you know, Event Wish 1, which has Albedo, Event Wish 2, which has Eula. And we don't really know the four star characters on those banners yet, but we're just gonna talk about those five star characters for now. Eula. one of my favorite characters in the game in terms of power in terms of storyline whatever it may be uh, i really enjoy playing her as a character and i'm gonna tell you guys exactly why first things first my eula is level 90 out of 90 she's fully maxed out and her actual you know stats aren't that bad at all um i just don't really like farming in that dungeon the whole you know pale flame whatever so if you guys see her stats it could be way better in a sense however uh, I am currently running the Wolf's Gravestone as her main, you know, Claymore, and it has to be one of the best weapons yet because, well, it's just a really massive spike in attack percentage, and that allows her to have 2,500 attack, and when she gets the increase, she gets around 2,900 or something like that, or even 3,000. In terms of her artifacts, I'm running a full fail Pale Flame set, except for One Piece, obviously, and I'm running Attack Dance, I'm running a Crit... Uh, crit rate goblet as well as a physical damage cup and the rest is you know standard um i actually have one constellation on her so if i were going to go for another constellation on her it would be the second one which is really really good however i don't think i will be going to that degree um and here are her talents currently 8 8 and 10 obviously 10 for the ultimate because that's where like 50 percent of her damage is being done is from and she does a lot of damage a lot of damage um the only downside is that her energy is 80 the energy cost but if you have someone like the riding shogun on your team energy won't be really be a problem to that extent um there are other weapons that can make or break eula and she has a lot of three star weapons that are good for her a lot of four star characters or weapons that can be good for her as well so it's not just five star weapons at all yeah. in fact i used to run the snow tomb star silver on her and it did amazingly i got around 160,000 damage on my ultimate um it, it just does really really well and you could also use the free claymore here which increases your burst damage by 24 percent this is really good and i would also suggest this if you guys you know already have this um this is amazing if you guys are any battle pass users the serpent spine is absolutely great it has crit rate and gives you some extra damage it's really, really good. So, uh, Rain Slasher, don't even bother. For the type Archaic, only use it if this is your only option. The Black Lift Slasher, good for crit damage increase as well as attack increase if you do have like more than one enemy on the field. Otherwise, it's not that great. And then we have this one right here. Uh, Sacrificial Greatsword. It's not really good at all. I would not suggest this in any way, shape, or form. Do not use this. The Sky Rider Greatsword. This has a physical damage bonus, as you guys can see. This weapon is actually pretty good on Eula. She can do some massive damage with this, especially because of that physical damage bonus. And her, her kit is entirely physical damage. She's not a cryo user. She, she does cryo here and there, but that's not her thing. She's very physical damage oriented, and I feel like that's what makes her unique. Um, you could run something like the Bait Club as well. That's pretty much it. That she has a good three star option excellent four star options and a bunch of five star options obviously the wolf's grave is not the weapon tailored for her he has the other weapon with the physical damage bonus and the attack speed increase not sure what it's exactly called but that weapon is really good on her obviously it's her best in the slot and she also has this wolf's gravestone she also has the unforged the unforged is actually incredible on her if you're using zhongli on your team so that is also an option if you, you know, you lost 50 50s or whatever.
All right, now we're going to be talking about Albedo. The universe. The sable essence of the... Albedo, I just made a few guides on him recently, and you guys absolutely loved it. So I'm going to be talking about Albedo here. He's currently level 90 out of 90. He has a lot of HP for some reason. Ignore that. Um, and his attack and defense are looking pretty even. However, with the new artifact set coming out and the new weapon coming out as well, his defense is going to be increased dramatically. So he's going to get at least a 30% increase in power. Um, his current stats are looking kind of nice. Don't worry about this. It should be around 48% if he has max HP, which he currently does not. But yeah. Or he's not even like equipped in the team. So that's why. Um, he's currently running the... Uh, two-piece archaic two-piece noblesse his best in slot weapon is a three-star weapon the harbinger of dawn because the crit damage as well as the crit rate pretty freaking good uh he has no constellation right now but his constellation one is not that good so you can run matt c zero if you wanted to but his c2 is pretty nuts dawn's currently at 199 so i know how well he could perform uh, i could you know go all the way and talent him to 10 or crown him talents are really decent you know increasing 25 percent more damage for those who are under 50 percent hp as well as an incredible amount of mastery increase for those of you guys who use characters like kutau tartaglia whoever it may be um i really like albedo especially after i upgraded him and stuff and i find like he's a really decent character and one of these characters that are super underrated really good for support does a lot of damage off the field and I feel like he can benefit a lot on any team, especially if you're running Elemental Mastery teams or just the Zhongli team, Zhao teams. Those are really good with Albedo in them. Albedo is an excellent character and the best thing about him is he does not cost a lot. Very easy to build. So his artifacts can vary tremendously. You can go with the four piece tenacity, which I recommend. You can go with the full Noblesse Oblige set, or you can go with what I did here with the two piece and the two piece with archaic as well as noblesse all good and well however there's going to be the new artifact set which i would recommend everyone to use because it's going to be absolutely awesome um the thing that makes albedo is obviously the defense percentage increase um whenever you're using the transient blossom damage which is the damage you do after you release your amount of skill pretty awesome in general his uh ultimate actually scales off normal attack percentage and but, but to be fair it does a lot of damage, especially after the Fatal Blossom is hit. And it's only causing, like, it's only costs 40 energy. 40 for this amount of hits. It, it can go over a thousand hits if it, if all the seven Fatal Blossoms hit the same opponent. And I think that's pretty awesome in general. So I'm going to show you guys an Albedo showcase as well. And hopefully you do enjoy. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. As well as if you did enjoy this video, you guys know what to do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.